Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In the previous video, I have demonstrated how to have the VNC server based remote connection so that you can facilitate the graphical interface of Raspberry Pi to your laptop. So we were making the use of a VNC server software. But in this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to have that same connection, that same interface, graphical interface between your laptop and Raspberry Pi using the Windows remote desktop connection. So let us first of all go to Putty. So let us type the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that is 192.168.1.103. So let us go with login as as Pi. And let us wait for the password. So let us type the password as Raspberry. So now you have to do is to install one software that is called sudo apt-get install xrdp. So it's the name of the package which facilitates the remote desktop connection between Windows as well as Raspberry Pi. So it is downloading. Yes, it is unpacking it. So latest version called 0.6.1-2 is being installed. So remote desktop connection is an inbuilt software into Windows. You can use any Windows operating system, whether it's a server, whether it's a client. I will give you the command. Let it first of all sets. So it is setting up. So let's wait. It's a very small software. Okay, voila. So now what we have to do is to just go to run Windows R and type the command MSTSC. So press enter. Now you can find that there is a remote desktop connection. So what you have to do is to type the IP address of the Raspberry Pi 192.168.1.103 and let us connect it. So it is again demanding some connectivity problems. So click on yes without problem any facing. So now you can see it is logging to XRDP. So give the username as Pi and password as Raspberry. So press enter. So now you can see that everything is going okay. And now you can see the graphical interface, which is much more, you can say, refreshed and uh, you can say depth, you can say as compared to VNC. So this is how we can control our Raspberry Pi and uh, do give it a shot. Thank you so much.